today's video is sponsored by Tan Beauty and it is just a bunch of things that they've launched in recent months that I wanted to talk about. So um, it's not everything they've launched, but it's just kind of my picks of the things that they've launched that I feel like are either extra special, you would be particularly interested in them, or I was particularly interested in them. So the first one, because I feel like maybe it was the longest to go, would be these two palettes. You may remember when Freedom first launched, they had these kind of iPad looking palettes, um, and they're called Pro Pad, Pro, Pro Artist Pads. Um, and there are two new ones that launched just before Christmas. So I never know, oh there, it's already open. There's an eyeshadow palette, which is the Extreme Vice. And the other one, which I feel like I've used a little bit more to be quite honest, um, is Backstage. You can see I've kind of messed it up a little bit. Um, and what I really like about this, I mean, you, in, in theory it's a blush palette, but it's kind of several blushes. And then bronzer contours, which I use less of. And then all down here are highlights. I don't know whether or not that's going to even pick up because it's so bright outside today. Um, but there are some beautiful highlights in there. And if you know me, you know I'm really into that kind of sheeny, not so frosty highlight. This one is just perfect. It is this here. I don't know if that's gonna pick up, but it's just kind of, just a subtle sheen. And I love that. I hate like a really obvious highlight. That being said, I have reviewed so many highlights and thought I just can't see it. And then I get out in the sunlight and it's pow, which is probably why I'm so into just something a little bit more subtle. I never wanna get outside or um, maybe not know when someone else is looking at me outside and I just, covered in glitter. Uh, so the main thing that made me feel like I wanted to film this particular video today was this little package that I received. Um, it's a new, I haven't even opened these things yet. I actually saw this on Instagram and thought, oh my God, I'm gonna love that. It's the Rose Lights Highlighting Powder Palette from Revolution. Um, so if, if you don't know, I've filmed videos like this before. So for those of you that haven't seen, um, Tam Beauty, wow, look at that. Tan Beauty is like Makeup Revolution, Freedom, um, I Heart Makeup. There's tons of different brands under that umbrella, which I'll link below for you to find out a little bit more about that. In fact, I'll link my original video that tells you about all the different brands. Um, so Makeup Revolution and Freedom are kind of one family. This is beautiful. It's it's not quite shiny. You can see that's kind of satiny. Love. I loved the original highlight palette. That's so pretty. Oh my goodness, I'm suddenly glad of the sunshine because they are picking up a little bit nicer than they might have on a normal, dull English day. They are so nice. It's again just perfect if you are more into a kind of glow rather than um, the really, really frosty highlight. They are beautiful. Um, and some of these shades, I would have thought, there's one in the original one, um, possibly the center in these two would be ones that you could maybe use all over, dependent on how bright you want it to be, or maybe it's the outer ones. I'm gonna have to give that a proper go. I'll use that in a get ready with me thing so you can see it in action. But this was the thing that I thought was completely bizarre and I have never even seen before. Silicone contour brushes. Is this a thing now? Silicone, actual like rubber, brushes. Three ultimate brushes for precise and smooth contouring. Allows for flawless application with no dragging and allows for precise application every time. Okay, this might be a video in itself. Let me know if you want me to do kind of a first impressions and test of these brushes because they are completely insane to me. I have never seen anything like this. Um, there's obviously some kind of trend that I'm missing, but if you want to see a video with me attempting to use these, let me know. Yeah, that was the thing that kind of majorly piqued my interest. The video originally was going to be just about the new Makeup Obsession launch because Makeup Obsession used to be, I believe, Boots Only and it is now on TAM. Um, so you can get it online now as well. They launched about 40 new eye colours. Uh, they've got some lip colours, some highlights, some brow powder, so I'll show you those now. Um, and I was going to do just a swatch video about those. If you'd like me to swatch every single thing, that I have of the Makeup Obsession, because I did that last time, let me know and I'll maybe do a blog post to follow up. But I did um, already start with the lips. These are the selection of shadows that kind of appealed to me the most. I just wanted to put them in a palette to show you a little bit more easily than the individual pots. Uh, but these were, of the new launches, the ones that appealed to me the most. So I'll just quickly tell you what they are. Um, it's Blank Mulberry Beach Blonde Mushroom LA Coal Wonderlust Linen Celeste Plum 
Paris and Olive. I love that you can see underneath what they're all called. I don't remember all of the names, obviously. Uh, that's super, super useful. I have just done my MAC palette video and that was not easy. Um, it would be really useful if it was kind of on the bottom like these ones. I really like that feature. Um, and then lips. Am I missing one? I think I am. Okay, so these are the lip colours. I don't know if these are all the lip colours, but they're all of the ones that I was sent. Um, and I have got some swatches, so I'll put those on the screen now. This is Naked Nude, Bloom, Champagne, Toxic, High Class, Chameleon, Armour, Sexy Silk, Mink, Scarlet and Claret. These I have actually tried already. Um, the new shadows I haven't, but I know what they're like. Very, very similar in um, quality to that of the Makeup Revolution ones, quite creamy and blendable. Um, but they can be hit and miss, as with anything. It all depends on the one that you choose. Uh, but the shimmery shades do tend to be pretty good. Um, the lip colours are not particularly opaque. I think you need really to get quite a lot on there to get a very, very opaque lip, in my experience. There are some, the kind of bolder reds, that are a little bit better, but they tend to be quite sheer. So if you're into more somewhere between a gloss and a lipstick, nothing too creamy or sticky, it is kind of an easier to wear on the go formula if you're gonna put something in a palette, because I'm not a massive fan of lip palettes usually, but it is slightly easier if it's not too sticky and not too kind of gloopy. Um, but I just want you to be aware that they're not quite as opaque as maybe they look in the pan. Also, there's a colour in here that looks almost black, and it's kind of a purple colour. This one, which must be chameleon, makes sense. So it's like a brownie black colour um, in this harsh sunlight, uh, but in actual fact it's kind of more of a purple. But it is more of a, like, a wash of colour. The other two that I've got here, again, I haven't got every single colour because I just wanted to fit them in a palette. These I was really excited about. These were all highlights. Um, it's Bare, Flame, Bronze, Pearl, Gold, and Lightning. There are, again, a few more, but these were my favourites of the bunch. I think this is probably that kind of Bare, again, perfect name, that kind of uh, sheer little bit of highlight that I particularly like, but all of these are a kind of a bit more neutral. They're not too frosty or pale. It all depends on what you like. That's just what I'm into. And then there are eyeshadows. No, nope. eyebrow shadows, eyebrow powders eyebrow powders um, and they're all kind of halves so you can get uh, in theory uh, double for your money because you've got a paler and a darker half but you can add a little bit of dimension with that as well I really really like the makeup obsession line um, as we've talked about before big fan of being able to customize things and um, anything where you can kind of click in and out of a palette is um, great for me Something that's not necessarily new, but I've been using a lot recently, and I wanted to mention when I did this video, is this DGJ Organics Kids Detangle Spray. And I have not been using this for the kids. So DGJ Organics is the hair care range, which again, falls under the Tam Beauty header, and you can buy on Tam Beauty's website. Um, you may remember me talking in a previous video about only using shampoo at the moment on my hair. I've been just, I've just had a really, really pared down hair care routine and I've just been using kind of head and shoulders or whatever shampoo I've been using and then some kind of leave-in conditioner as and when I feel like I need it. And I've been reaching for this and it smells amazing. I don't feel like I need a tremendous amount of anything on my hair, it weighs it down and at the moment my hair is in pretty good condition. Um, but because I'm washing it every day, it can sometimes get a little bit dry on the ends, and this is great. So if you are into leave-in conditioners and you like something that is lightly but pleasantly summery fragranced, this is like watermelon or something. It says watermelon, let me see. Oh, man, it smells so good. It reminds me of um, lipsticks of my youth. Delicious. Uh, so I've got a couple more things from Freedom to show you. They launched a whole range of uh, colour correcting stuff. So some finishing powders, which are kind of like banana powders, which is pretty exciting for those of you that are into um, like baking and stuff. So there's a yellowy HD Pro finishing powder. There's also a finishing correcting powder. I would be more likely to use something like this. I find um, loose powders to be a bit messy for me because I am horribly clumsy. Uh, so a pressed powder is always something I would reach for more and they do these in all the different colours so I'm just showing you some variations but they also do yellow version of this one. Um, they've done some colour corrector concealers so again I've got the green ones here but I think they do purple, um, like a yellowy colour, loads of different stuff and you've got a Pro HD Longwear liquid concealer 
and then this camouflage concealer. Now, for me, these are both a little bit high coverage because as you know, I go for something a little bit more tinted moisturizer-y um, in coverage, nothing too heavy. Um, and it's not that they're heavy in texture, they just are quite high coverage. That being said, I feel like if you're going for the color correcting and this kind of product, you're probably going for something a little bit heavier anyway. So they do now have color correctors, which is pretty exciting. And in the same formulation of these, they also do regular concealer colors. I would love to see um, a real brightening, pinky kind of color. I'm gonna see if they do, I don't think that they do, but I've been really into a brightener underneath the eyes there at the moment, and that would be something I'd be really interested in. But I do like these for, um, if you get like major breakouts, these camouflage concealers are great for when you need the high coverage. Um, some liners and pencils they released recently. Um, I posted a few times about these and they weren't out yet, so I ended up doing a blog post just saying, you know, maybe they'll come out at some point and eventually they have. So we've got um, five lip liners now, which are great, quite, like they're on the drier side. They're not like that creamy kind of lip liner. Definitely more the kind of thing you would use with um, a matte or something you would use because you want to lay down a base for a longer lasting um, lip, but not something I would use by itself. Definitely something that's on the drier side, which is great for us matte lovers, but maybe not so much for those of you that like a creamier finish. Um, and then there are eyeliners, which you can get in kind of packaging like this as a duo or a single. Uh, like coal eyeliners and I think three brow pencil shades which are actually really really nice so if you're not into the pomades or the powders that they do already they now have brow pencils uh, and finally possibly the most exciting part of all for the freedom launches brushes and I'm not 100% sure when these are going to be online I think a little bit at a time from this week they should be um, but I was not expecting this I don't know why probably because Makeup Revolution had them already. Um, and the Makeup Revolution brushes are good. In my opinion, these are better. They um, feel like more professional brushes. There are more shapes to them. They also have a little mini range, which is super cute. Look at these tiny little brushes. How adorable are they? And they have that soft touch. Um, is this called a ferrule? You always think of Farrell, <laughs> Farrell Williams when I say that. Ferrule, ferrule. I'm pretty sure for all you know the handle um it's that kind of soft touch nice feeling brush um i do think i don't have it but i do think that you can get this eyebrow brush in the larger size which is great because i never have enough of these angled brushes i like if i ever use um, pencil liner i like to use this to kind of flick it out a little bit and just smudge it along my lash line but i also use this for brow products so I can never have enough of those. They have lip brushes and teeny little eye definery brushes. I love the feel of these brushes. They feel really professional. Um, they don't feel like they are from an inexpensive brand. Um, so that is it for today's video. I feel like the sun is against me. It's kind of, I've been trying to speed up because the sun is just coming into the window and completely getting in the way of everything. And my camera just died so it's probably a sign that I should wrap it up. Um, so I will link whatever I can below, um, providing everything is online right now, fingers crossed, and anything that I've already done a post on or swatches or anything I can find, I will also link below. Hopefully this was useful for those of you that were maybe looking at um, some new bits and pieces from some of these brands. If you've got any questions, please leave them below, any requests for upcoming videos, because I'm really on a roll right now um, and definitely feeling kind of back in the groove. So let me know if there's anything you would like to see from me and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.